coach, you also mentioned edits for your guys to educate them, uh, you know, about the assisted at the rim. And uh, that's, that's a challenge nowadays, isn't it? With the constant turnover in your roster to be able to educate players about the different things that you're doing. Can you talk about the different ways that you do that about say this off season, preparing some of the new players about your terminology and style of play, et cetera. That's a good question. So we, Adam, our director of analytics and sky Adam's pretty much in charge of everything. Not Adam Bowman, one, right? Yeah, Just Adam for Bowman, everyone that not doesn't on know. the court. So he used to be our director of ops and we had a really, he had a really good assistant director of ops who we, moved up to director of ops. So we could totally just move Adam over to being in charge of everything off the court, all, all basketball related. So analytics, scouting, video, any of that stuff falls under him and he's great at it. So he, he puts everything we do into just play. So like every term, and again, if you're going to have, yeah, and I'd have to ask Adam, I don't know what the number, usually the number ends up being around 300 and some, set plays we have if you're going to have that many like it's it's all family based you know you got your horns family your iverson series your your zipper series well within that you know the you know we use a term for flare well call it f you know we horns f1 horns f4 iverson f4 you know like you can have all your flares you got another term for ball screen, flaring the ball screener, got another term. So so we put the term in, then you have a diagram drawn up, and then there's also video showing it. And you, we also put the playbook in there with, you know, sometimes it, I like to try to limit them to three words, you know, whatever it may, may be, horns. Uh, so, so horns is the alignment as yeah. the family of play and then you're going to put you're going to name each action say flare or down screen is going to be named something yeah and then multiple things can be put together once they learn it exactly like you, you know you i mean so you just kind of say it now if you could essentially have a play with six words in it we're not doing that it's not right. football we can't like and we'd like to be able to have hand motion this is another thing i've thought of. You, you're 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 real innovator i, I really want to take a sign language class like just take it you know find it sign up i've been thinking about this since buffalo like it'd be ideal to have every one of your plays be able to be hand motion for you getting the crazy loud gyms i haven't done it yet we've got one of our managers that was trying to assign uh hand motions to every play we have and they got this and that i i'm like you got to teach them to me i never learned them all from them. i don't know if they ever got every play with hand motion but yeah, well, not just teach them to you. They you have to teach them to your whole team. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I, I don't I don't know, but we love the we, idea. You have the terms, you know. So you know, like nail stack rebels one, right? We're gonna run out of our nail series, gonna run a stack, pick and roll, and then we're gonna rebel off it. So like nail stack rebel, like, but you can also have horns rebel. Just We've got a horns rebel. Like, so like it, the, the same action can show up in multiple family, and they will show up in almost every family. So you can get to the same action out of different alignments. That way you come out of a timeout and, you know, you just hit, you ran a Philly action, ran it out of Hawk series, ran it out of Iverson series, ran it out of horn series and, you know, whatever it is. So yeah, that's, but so again, kid comes in like, I got to learn 300 plays. Well, no, you don't. You got to learn about, you know, 30 or 40 terms. Once you have those terms down, you piece them together and then in your head, and then it, it comes pretty quick. So we put all those terms up. Then we will actually put the plays up too. And then we'll start quizzing our guys. And this year we got a foreign tour and we struggled a little bit off a of board and out of timeouts last year. So we're going to start quizzing them right out of the gate with the practices we've got with the foreign tour this summer. So, so yeah, j the, Adam uses just play a lot. He runs the quizzes by me. He puts the stuff in. I, I know it in my head. And, and that's another thing we've talked about this off season. We need to go and clean up our terminology. Like the longer you go, you know, every few years, we just sit down. Does it make sense to call it this? This, this would make more sense now that we've got this in. We're not running this a lot with our personnel. Like, you know, we're going to try to clean up our terminology here in the next few weeks. 
So, so just play allows you to organize all that together. So you can do the, the, show them the play, show them the term, show them the play diagram, and then also quiz them. Let's focus on the quizzing for a second. What type of things are you quizzing them on? And then what are the consequences <laughs> of not Good getting question. a certain mark? I, uh, we, so we'll do it a couple of different ways. Sometimes we put up a diagram and they just have to write down the play name. Usually they just have to write the play name down. Sometimes though we put up video, we show it of us running the game or us. Sometimes we video all of our practice. I mean, you've been yeah. through done the full access at the beginning of practice when we go five on all or five versus five managers. So you got some at least dummy defense out there so they know who they're screening and whatever. We'll record that and then, you know, assign that to a play and, and show the video of it. So maybe we got 20 plays up and they write the play name down and look the the consequences are i read off what your score is in front of the team so if if, if you can't execute a play and you don't know anything at some point you're going to get like if you care about winning and playing time and everything else like you're going to learn what we're doing if you constantly are getting low scores on a quiz you probably don't care that much about what we're doing and it's hard for me to play guys that don't care because it's hard to win with guys that don't care so that we don't run them, fail the class. Like there's no class, like, like, but there's some pride involved. I got a 20 out of 20. I know what I'm doing here. Or, you know, we had some really smart walk on shoot. I met with one yesterday. He's going to med school. Those guys would be down on the other end. This is how, this is how great the terminology works. They're our scout team on the other end. I'm putting in new sets down here. They've not even seen the new sets put in. We throw up, new sets on the board and they still get them right because they know the actions and they can piece them together and they just put, okay, it's this family with this series, this boom, boom. And they, they, they weren't there for the install because they were running the other team stuff on the other end for 15 minutes. I did the install here and they're still getting them right. You know, and then you got some guys down here that were sitting there for the install. <laughs> Great. Don't get them right sometimes. So, yeah, I mean, if you're smart and you know, and you know the terms, you can figure this stuff out pretty quick. Well, you break it down into manageable components, chunking it, as you say, and there's really 30 things that they need to know. And then once that, it's just a question of grouping them. Um, what emphasis do you put on guys studying on their own? And, and that is also helped, obviously, by just play. It gets all sent to their phones, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, they've got everybody gets a just play login. I've got it on my phone. You pull the app up and, and you review it. I mean, it's I mean, we tell our guys, if, if if you're trying to be a pro and all you do is work on the time that we can require you to be here by the NCA, like that, you're, that's not going to work. Like it's all stuff. It's they got to come in, get extra shooting up, you know, voluntary shooting on their own, but they also need to, you can only spend X number of hours on your feet. It's, it's counterproductive to, you know, to overtrain your body at some point, you know, that's why we got trainers and got all this data on that stuff, strength coach and all that. But if, you know, if you've got an extra hour, you want to spend, pull your phone out, get the terms down. Look, our, our scouting reports go up on that stuff, like opponents studying opponent stuff, like all that's on. It's all available on their phone. So, they we're, we're big on our guys putting in extra time outside of practice to study the game, and we'll we'll send them edits. Shoot, we make like the slashing edits that we talked about out of the NBA. Every edit we show them as a group, we'll also send it to them, so they can go back and review it on their own and see it too, you know, pick and roll at it. We, we do a lot of breakdowns for guard. We try to comparison, you know, we think you could play like, I love like some tough guard. We got a tough guard at it. Like, you know, Fred Van Vliet, Kyle Lowry, shoot, we're watching it right now. I mean, the Bucks got some Drew Holiday, Javon Carter, Wesley Matthews. We're, we're making an edit of the NBA playoffs. Kind of, we call them blue collar plays. Like we'll send that edit out. I, I'm, you know, I'm going around and meeting with our new guys coming in. This is how we expect you to play. We were, we were great. Look, we were really, I thought we were one of the hardest playing teams in the country in year two with Herb Jones and that group leading the way. And I mean, John Petty played hard. Primo played hard. We're, we're up 30, 40 on teams and still being the first team to the floor for a loose ball. We weren't as good at that stuff this year for whatever reason. So we're letting everybody know, like when you come in, Next year, we're, we've got video to show them. This is what we expect you to play like. By the way, this is also how when the season's on the line in the NBA, they play like now. 
the NBA is a little different when you got 82 games. I get it. But the playoff intensity, when you lose and you go home, that, there's a different intensity to those games. Everybody tends to crash a little harder, all the blue cow, like it's so we're we're putting together an edit on that stuff. Like this is how winning basketball is played. This is what we expect out of you on, on a nightly basis here in college basketball.